Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Saturday, May 8th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, sacred music, and other content are available at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. Also, join us every Sunday at 10 for Drive Up Worship on our beautiful grounds. My scripture lesson today is from 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 14. Let all that you do be done in love. This is the word of the Lord. Well, the right kind of routines can bring life. Love for the gift of life. Love for creation. Love for imagination. Love and thanksgiving for the Lord. But routines can also go the other way. Oscar Wilde said, consistency is the last refuge of the unimaginative. And so, an anonymous author continued, saying, Stop getting up at 6.05. Get up at 5.06. Walk a mile at dawn. Find new ways to drive to work. Switch chores with your spouse next Saturday. Buy a walk. Study wildflowers. Stay up alone all night. Read to the blind. Start counting brown-eyed blondes. Subscribe to an out-of-town paper. Canoe at midnight. Don't write to your congressman. Take a whole scout troop to see him. Learn to speak Italian. Teach some kid the things you do best. Listen to two hours of uninterrupted Mozart. Take up aerobic dancing. Leap out of that rut. Savor life. Remember, we pass this way only once. It is good to change things up to look for adventure and imagination at every turn and not to get stuck in a rut. But let's remember also to develop those regular habits of prayer, of Bible study, of worship. Let's remember regularly to give sacrificially, to be servants to those in our lives. And believe it or not, those are the kinds of routines that will actually encourage you to be more creative and imaginative. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that your word, your will, and your way is full of life, and that when we embrace the life that you would have us lead, then serendipities and adventures will be around every corner. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.